How you doing? Doing all right. I don't. How was the bye week? You know, it was nice. Um, had some time, you know, get away from football, um, check in with the family a little bit more, uh, get a body of rest, um, and then, you know, get back and get ready to work. How long did it take, do you think, for the locker room to kind of buy into him being genuine in his approach to coaching? Um, I mean, I'm not really sure. I think everybody kind of, you know, was very, you know, uh, welcoming and open to, you know, when he's coming in, not really knowing what to expect. And I think people just were taking it day to day, um, you know, uh, just coming in, looking at some of the things he's getting done, um, seeing some of the progress that we've been able to make uh, through training camp, learning from him. Um, and then going on the field and getting the results. Um, I think that's really what, uh, as a player, you kind of get that reassurance of, and building that relationship with the coach. When you see what's going on kind of in Jacksonville, does it kind of reaffirm how big trust is between the coaching staff and, and players? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think trust is big um, from, you know, players to coaches, uh, players to players. Um, and, and that's ultimately just, you know, believing in, you know, the people that you're working in, uh, what they believe in, what you're trying to get done. Um, being on the same page and then really just, you know, that relationship working together. So I think that, you know, cohesiveness and, and understanding of one another um, is something that, that has to be there. Hey, um, I just asked Fletcher this. That I want to get your take on it. It's, it's about week eight, so about halfway through the season. You guys have turned into a top ten defense in a lot of categories. Can you point to something? Is that just the natural evolution of uh, – new coaches, you're a new player in this organization. Is that just a natural evolution, or do you see something that clicked at, at, at sort of that time frame? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the, the first piece is just, you know, having having good players and good coaches that, you know, work well together um, and continue to fight, um, you know, for, for that progress, you know, coming in each day with the positive attitude and just trying to get better each day. So I think over time, if you have a collective group that can do that, um, and regardless of whatever the adversity may hit, but really just stick together um, and come in each day and work at it, you know, you can make some progress. So I think what we've been able to do over the past few weeks is ultimately us just, you know, coming in each day, um, learning from the things that we're doing well, learning from the things that we don't do so well, and just trying to improve in, in each category. Earlier this season when things weren't going well, Jonathan Gannon was getting a lot of heat around the city. Um, how did he handle it? I mean, what, was, what did you guys see from him behind the scenes? Um, just being very, you know, calm and collective and, um, you know, believing in, you know, uh, what he thinks that we should be doing out there and, and how we need to do it. And ultimately just not letting that waiver, um, you know, who he is, uh, how he treats us in the room, how, what he expects from us as, as players and just keeping it at that very professional level of just, hey, like this stuff, you know, we just got to continue to work at it, continue to get better, um, continue to keep that open mind, that open positive attitude of, you know, coming in, getting on the field, getting on the film, um, and looking for ways we can get better. And, and the players have just, you know, continued with that, um, working together with him and working together with each other on just how can I get better um, I, at my individual visual craft to make the team better as a collective. Have you ever played with anybody who talks as much as Slay? Nah, nah. I mean, um, and that, that guy energy is very genuine, um, very real. He's consistently like that, you know, it's not just on the field, in the locker room. Um, whenever I've had the opportunity to be around him, that's, that's just been him. So, um, you know, I'm very grateful for that. You know, he lightened the mood, but then at the same time, he, he has a side where he's like, he can lock in and really, you know, dial guys in, hey, fellas, let's go. You know, it's time to pick it up or we should be doing this, we should be doing that. So I think he does a, a great job of keeping things light, um, but at the same time, you know, keeping guys on that straight and narrow. That switch. I mean, he just he just knows when to come in with it. Um, I mean, I think we got a, we got a good room in terms of guys who really stay dialed in um, on what we want to get done, where they want to go, and, and everybody just helping each other thrive. So, I think often he kind of plays back and, and, and kind of let guys handle it. But there's times when he steps in, um, you know, whether it's you know big game coming up or really just you know a opponent that everybody's saying that we should be able to beat. It's really just stepping in and keeping that happy balance. I think he does a good job of doing that. What are you seeing from Taylor Heineke? Uh, Taylor's he's very creative. Um, from time that I spent with him when he was in Minnesota, um, his ability, you know, move outside of the pocket, um, you know, make the different throws from different angles, and just be able to create and buy time is what he's, what he's always been able to do um, from my time seeing him and, and having some touch on the ball to be able to drop it in. As a 
Young safety, what, what have you seen from Marcus Epps what, as, as the veteran guy and one of the veteran guys in that room, when you see a young player kind of earn a rotational role, mm-hmm. what did he do to sort of earn that? Just staying consistent, um, continue to, you know, come in with a positive attitude, continue to work, um, and just being a great teammate um, is the thing I think he started with. And a lot of guys who kind of get into that role, they start with just coming in each day, no matter how big or how small your role is, but whatever it is, owning it and trying to be the best at it. And then from there, it's just, you know, taking advantage of the opportunities given and just continuing to build from that.